Jay, after much deliberation, you've come to a decision on your future. Yeah, exactly that. It took a while because um, I kind of had a change of heart through the summer. Um, I was all set doing my, my running and that, and then kind of started feeling like um, there might be a bit of a change in direction uh, and path for the future. So yes, as you say, come to a decision finally that I'm gonna hang the boots up and retire. Why now? Why now did you come to it? Um, I don't know, it's difficult. Everyone's asking, um, obviously, I've had advice from different people, um, uh, friends and family, and, and kind of sought some advice from them as well. But I just think it, it's a time where I, I need to pursue um, another interest that I have outside of football um, that I've kind of been putting off for a while. And at this moment in time, I, I can't do both. And I think it'd be unfair for, for me to kind of um, be playing with, with my mind on something else. And it wouldn't be fair to the obviously the club or the players or the, or the fans, really. So for me, um, I think it's a decision I felt I had to make, really. If we could reflect a little bit about your career on your, on your time, all the way back to 1999 as a, as a trainee with, mm -hmm. with West Bromwich Albion. What are your sort of career highlights when you start to reflect upon your time as a professional? Yeah, to be honest, I've had a great time playing, a great career from that point of view, as in just enjoying it really. I've had um, some big games, obviously playing at West Brom and coming through the youth team there was really good. Some played with some very good players there, um, obviously with my brother as well. Um, managed to get promoted to the Premier League twice with them um, before moving on to, to Watford. Um, had I think it was three great seasons at Watford as well. Um, promotion to the Premier League. Um, which I think what else? There was a, yeah, I think it was a semi-final of the FA Cup, semi-final of the Carling Cup. Um, moved to Doncaster, uh, sorry to Leicester, then to Doncaster. Um, played some really good football at Doncaster, uh, and then obviously come to Walsall and I've had another great kind of spell where I've uh, again got to the chance to play with my brother, which was a highlight for me again. Uh, and then obviously the trip to, to uh, Wembley last year. Yeah, I mean, over 100 appearances for the, for the Saddlers. Um, how are you reflecting your time here? Like you say, getting that opportunity to play with your brother just down the road from where you grew up. How do you reflect on your time? Also? To be honest, it's brilliant for me because when, when I when I first came here, I. I was off the back of um, two knee operations. Um, I'd kind of not played too too much the, the two years previous. Been out for a long time. Coming home um, to, to family and friends was really good. And obviously, again, the chance to play with my brother um, was, was really appealing. Uh, obviously, I knew the manager and, and uh, Richard O'Kelly from from before. So it was really at that time was really key. Um, decision for me and, and a real kind of moment I look back on with fond memories really. Do you think you're going to miss that the buzz of training, the buzz of match day? I think everybody does, I mean whenever you move on from something there's always going to be an element of um, memories that kind of crop up and um, just thinking back to good times and I've had some great times in my career um, and obviously here at Walsall as well so um, there will be those kind of moments where you might kind of get a little tear in the eye or whatever but um, I think for myself, obviously, um, at this present time, I see a, a different future for me, and um, hopefully, there'll be many fond memories uh, in the future ahead. Mm, we've had him obviously still at the club. I'm sure you'll keep one eye on our results. Won't you? We'll see you down here at the Banksy. I have no doubt I'll be hearing about the games, um, his performances, what's been going on day daily. So um, that would be good. I mean, obviously staying in it in, in some kind of format and um, kind of finding out what's going on. Obviously, I've still got quite a few friends here, so uh, if people don't mind, I'll be popping my head around to look at a few games and that. So yeah, should be good. Um, with you playing so so soon as last last season, if you had a message to the fans that have, have came down here and watched you and supported you, not just at Warsaw but throughout your whole career, how do you think you've been received from the fans? What would you like to say to them? Um, I've, again, like I say, I've really enjoyed my career. I've, I've had a great time wherever I've been um, playing on the pitch, but obviously the um, the interaction with the fans has been a key part um, for myself because I remember what it was like being a fan um, and I'd like to think through the years that I've kind of got to know quite a few fans but I'd also like to say at this moment just to say a big thank you for the support and the, the kind of um, I don't know, the interaction that we've had over the years and um, long may they it continue and um, hopefully they'll be behind all the lads this year and there'll be uh, some success at the end of the season. How do you think fans, football fans, will remember James Chambers as a player after professional? I think they'll remember me as one of the twins. Um, obviously, me and my brother playing together, um, it's usually how we get remembered. But uh, from an individual point of view, I think it will probably be um, hard working, um, energetic at times, 
uh, and, a, and a team player. That's how I'd like to be remembered anyway. But Jay, it's been an absolute pleasure watching you down here. And Likewise. I wish you all the very best in your future ventures. Thank you very much.